Hello, my name is Latrina. Earlier this week, you spoke with my son who offered to send you a free video showing you some things you can do to boost your online presence. This is the custom video we've made for you for Brush It On Paint Company. As he mentioned on the phone call, there's no selling in our videos. We believe that givers gain. So we make a few of these videos every single week and send them out to small businesses who are interested in boosting their business um, because we want to bring value and service to our community. We do need the feedback, however. Please take a moment afterwards to let us know what you thought, if it was helpful or not, so that we can improve on our videos. So what I'm going to cover in your video is content, backlinks, and citations, and why these are important website elements for you to have. I'll take a look at your company's online presence and make recommendations that could help you to boost your business. So content is anything that's on your website, such as the words, the images, and the videos. It's important to have sufficient content because this allows Google to crawl your website, grab information to find out what it is you do, grab essential keywords so that they can present you to people who are looking for your services in, uh, um, in the search results. Ideally, you want to have 1,500 words on your home page and at least 500 on your back pages. And then there are citations. These are listings and directories. It includes your business name, your address, and phone number as shown on the screen. You want to have as many of these and even more than your competitors than you can get. Getting these citations helps your website to rank on Google. Okay, so grab those citations. And then finally, backlinks. These are the placement of your website address onto other websites. For example, if you're in LinkedIn, Wikipedia, Yellow Pages, Yelp, and your website is listed on those, those are considered backlinks and they're helping to direct traffic to your website. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website actually becomes. Google places extremely high emphasis on how many backlinks a website has. In fact, it's very important to Google, so much so that it's a measure of trustworthiness. A business that doesn't have a lot of backlinks to Google is not trustworthy and not legitimate. But not all backlinks are created equal. So when you're getting your backlinks, make sure they're related to your line of work. So you're a painting company, you want to make sure you're getting backlinks related to that, home improvement, home remodeling, anything like that, rather than random backlinks like a restaurant or an auto body repair shop. So let's jump into Google for a moment. So when I did um, a search in Google, I used painting contractors, Virginia Beach, um, Virginia. Okay, because that's obviously where you are. Um, so what we are presented with initially are ads. Usually they appear at the top of the page and sometimes at the back, at the bottom as well. Um, two things I'm going to point out about what we're seeing right here. So ads are great as a supplement to a marketing strategy, um, but some people have ad blockers, so they won't necessarily see the ads that are here in this page. The other thing is you'll notice Thumbtack is here. Thumbtack, Angie, formerly Angie's List, um, Home Advisor, House, those services charge you for every lead that you get. Um, they share that lead with up to four other businesses. So five businesses are paying for the same lead, same price, but only one of those businesses will get that lead. So what I show bis um, customers or um, small businesses are things that you can do naturally, organically on your website to get leads and to drive up your business, okay? What we're looking at right now is the map pack. It's this area right here. And this is where Google places ranks in their eyes who they perceive to be the top three businesses for the search words okay so in this case painting contractors for virginia beach my tongue just got tight i don't know what happened there sorry hopefully you can understand that painting contractors virginia beach virginia so these are the businesses that google has perceived to be the top ranking ones and then if you continue to scroll down you'll continue to see businesses ranked in the order of preference or popularity according to google standards as you move further down the page, the visibility of those um, websites diminishes, okay? So I always encourage people to do whatever they can to get on the first few pages of Google. If you recall, probably the last time you did a Google search, you probably were not on the eighth, ninth, 10th page, right? You probably did it in the first few pages, or you might have even clicked the business here in the map pack. So just keep that in mind. You wanna be visible. So the goal is to be um, visible on the first few pages. All right, so let's take a look at your website. First of all, I like how it looks. It's very pretty um, or attractive. I'll use that. It's an attractive website. It's definitely clear what it is you do. 
Um, my recommendation here, I like how you called out the phone number is huge, but you can even improve that by adding a contact us form on your page so that people can leave their name, phone number, email, and immediately you'd have a hot lead, right? Sometimes people hang up when they call or they don't reach you or they don't leave a voicemail. People are strained sometimes, but if you have a call us um, or a contact us form that collects that information, you could always follow up with them and say, hey, I, I, it looks like you were looking for our services. How can we help you? Right. So it leaves you more opportunity to get um, information from people who are looking from you, looking for you. Sometimes they forget. Sometimes they open your website and just forget, walk away. They're at work. Um, but at least it gives them an opportunity to quickly put their information in and you can collect that at some point and follow up. Um, what I'm gonna also recommend is some more content on your homepage, just so that you can get more opportunity to rank for keywords. Um, when I did the research, it looks like you're not ranking for any keywords right now, and I'm gonna show you that in just a bit. But you do have quite a few services, right? You do interior painting, exterior painting, deck staining. So you wanna make sure that your website is built out enough so that you can actually rank for these keywords, okay? Example of keywords, interior painting, Virginia Beach. Exterior painting, Virginia Beach. Deck staining, Virginia Beach, okay? so. Definitely build out your website, 1,500 words for your home page and at least 500 on your back page, okay? If we take a look at your data right now, um, you at one time had 1.5 thousand backlinks, which was awesome, but now you're down to 171, that's dropping. You need to always be adding backlinks. Remember, backlinks are a measure of your popularity and your trustworthiness to Google, okay? A business with very few backlinks, are not trustworthy in the eyes of Google. So always be mindful of that and make sure you're getting backlinks out there, okay? Same thing with your referring domains. You had 120 at one point, you're down to 43. But the most significant find that I'm seeing here is that you're not ranking for any keywords whatsoever. And that's a, tr that's a problem. That means that whatever people are typing here, you're not showing up because you're not a match, okay? So you wanna get those keywords so that you can um, outrank or at least be more competitive with um, in the market. Um, if I show you side by side glance of how you're performing against one of the people or one of the companies that's listed in the map pack. So this company right here, right here down at the bottom, that's an indication of your business. You're getting zero um, organic traffic coming to your website from Google, right? But if you look at them, they're getting like 34, 35 a day, 37, sometimes even 40 um, in a day as far as organic traffic. So you can close this gap a bit by building out your website, getting some keywords on there so that you can um, drive more traffic to your website. You also want to continuously be adding backlinks, okay? Because the less, you know, the lower your backlink number drops, the less popular you are going to be perceived. All right, so let me give you some examples. Let's take a peek at your competitor and see what kind of keywords they are ranking for. Okay, so House Painters Virginia Beach. 150 people are searching that every, every single day. Um, they're ranking, they're number 11 with that one. And it's a low KD, meaning the keyword difficulty, it's not very difficult to rank for that. Exterior Painters, Virginia Beach, 100 people search for that every month, okay? Exterior Painting, Virginia Beach, 100 people rank for that or are searching for that every single month. Painters, Virginia Beach, 350 people are searching for that every single month. So there's a lot of volume that you're missing out on. House painting, Virginia Beach, 150 people are searching for that every month. Interior painting, Virginia Beach, 60 people. So you get the point. There are a lot of keywords that you're missing out on and a lot of volume of searches that could be yours, but you're not, 
you're just not ranking at this moment. So my takeaway for you is definitely get more content on your website so that you can not only get your keywords there, but so that Google will spend time on your website. When you don't have a lot of content, Google does not spend time on your website. They jump on, they jump right off. But when you have a sufficient amount of content, your page is laid out perfectly, you have keywords that they can find easily, then you're gonna start getting traffic and you're gonna get more impressions where people can see you in their search results. Okay, with that, I'm going to end this video. I hope it's been helpful. I hope I've been able to share some tips that could um, that you can carry forward. If there was anything that I mentioned that is unclear or you have questions or need clarification, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I want my videos to be informative, not confusing. So anything whatsoever, feel free to um, shoot me an email and let me know and I'll clarify whatever I've covered in your video. Um, I make these personal for every business owner. So the content is always different depending on your situation. Um, with that, I wish you a great rest of your weekend and much success for Brush It On Paint Company. Take care. By the way, I love your logo. It's awesome. Bye-bye.